University in Nebraska researchers are working to develop better crop varieties by studying how a plant's genetic makeup affects its physical traits. Associate Professor of Biological Systems Engineering Yu Feng Gu joins us now for the latest insight on that research effort. And thank you very much, Professor, for taking the time to chat with us this morning. If you would, bring us up to speed on your efforts so far. Yes, so um, by 2050, the world will be home to close to 10 billion people. And in order to support the population, we will need to increase the yield and improve the quality of our crops, as well as reduce the amount of resources required to produce them. So understanding how the genes of various crops can contribute to certain performance-related characteristics like yield, grain quality, drought tolerance, nitrogen use efficiency, and more can help producers to increase the yield and improve the resilience of, uh, of our agricultural landscapes. So my work really focuses on advanced technologies, including sensors, robotics, and artificial intelligence, to better understand the relationship between a plant's the genome and the phenome. And this information ultimately can be used to develop crop varieties that produce more better food, use less resources, and environmentally more sustainable. Ultimately, what is the goal of this research effort? Yes, so historically, uh, trained researchers rely largely on sights, touch, feel and, uh, of a plant to understand the phenotype. And over the past decades, we have begun using uh, more advanced technologies such as drones, the robots, the cameras, and the laser scanners. And they can measure far greater number of plants and with higher precision. And the technology measure uh, may include the leaf structure, nitrogen content, disease symptoms, and even root structure that's under the ground. And uh, the various crops and being able to, to do this for a range of uh, environments and the conditions. So the research is underway now. Is there a timeline on things and an ultimate result you hope to accomplish? Uh, yes, so you know, I would like to share with our audience the ultimate goal of our research. And I want our audience to imagine, uh, to imagine a future uh, that the soil becomes healthier and more productive and the water becomes purer in the vicinity of our farmlands and uh, the sky is bluer and the air is fresher. So invent the process and the technologies that not only produce more food, but also improve our environments. And I think that is the ultimate goal and the long-term goal of our research. Wonderful. Well, of course, for more information, you can go online to the university's website. That's kasner.unl.edu. Professor, thank you very much for joining us. Again, Professor Yu Feng Gu joining us from the University of Nebraska-Lincoln here this morning.